Welcome back into sports, everyone. The Yuma football community is mourning the loss of longtime coach and teacher Tony Mitchell. Mitchell touched the lives of countless people as he spent 11 years as the defensive line coach at Arizona Western College, where he was also the residence hall director. One of our all-time great coaches at Arizona Western College, Tony Mitchell, around here known as T-Mitch, was one of a kind. Tony will be sorely missed by all the students at Arizona Western College as not only was the, the assistant football coach and defensive line coach, but also resident hall director where he touched lives of many students not involved in athletics. So. Mitchell also spent a year as a coach and teacher at Yuma Catholic where he had a profound impact in his short time with the Rocks. Coach Mitchell was a great guy. Uh, at the end of the day, he was just a great leader, a great leader of men. Um, you know, he just came in and made a huge impact with with all of our kids in the classroom. He was a you know a favorite of all the students um, on the football field. The kids looked up to him. He was a positive person. Well, as long as I'm here, we won't let his legacy die. Uh, at that, you know, we're going to do everything we can to to remember him and remember all the positive things he brought to our school and honor him. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the Mitchell family and all of the people whose lives he impacted. Moving on from a star with the Kings to leading the Crims. Yuma High Volleyball is now under new leadership, elevating assistant Isabel Ponce as their new head oh, coach. Before her time as an assistant with the Crims, Ponce was a four-year varsity player with COFA from 2015 to 2018. Here she is at setter for the Kings, number 12 on your screen. She then went on to play for Arizona Western College and Benedictine University at the NAIA level. Now she'll be leading the Yuma program for the upcoming season. Once it says after a year already on the Crim staff, familiarity will be a big help for her going forward. Um, I think the relationships that I built last year are definitely going to help in this position because, you know, you gain that sense of trust with the girls. So I think that's going to be a huge part of it. Another bit of help for Ponce will be getting to coach with her former head coach at COFA as Brittany Sasser, who you see here, will be an assistant with Ponce's staff. The Crims' first game of the season will actually come against the Kings at home on August 29th. That's all the time we have for sports.